Hey, what's up guys? So we are going to be going over what the meta currently looks like in Yu-Gi-Oh! Online. So uh, basically, if you're looking to play against high-ranked players or looking to get better at this game, uh, these are going to be the most popular decks that people are currently playing online right now. So right now we have the Elemental Dragons. Man, this deck is super, super popular and it's really nasty and it does one of those like... It doesn't like FTK you like essentially, but um, it basically puts you in a position where you're basically set up to lose because you can't do anything because Light and Dark just Dragon says no. So you'd be expected to play against this deck. What this deck does is it makes rank sevens really fast. So Big Eye and Phantom Beastcraft, and they occasionally, well, I'd say like 50% of the time, if they go first, they can throw out a first turn Light and Dark just Dragon on you and you pretty much lose. Most decks aren't geared to lose against the first turn Light and Dark just Dragon, plus a 2600 beater, plus the ability to go for uh, multiple rank sevens the next turn if anything else goes wrong. Wrong. So be expected to play against this. Uh, I would say if you really want to um, meet this deck, an important card is Torrential Tribute. This card is very important. Um, if you want to main deck some random cards that people are side decking, I've seen a few players uh, main deck this card. Uh, this is Droll and Lockbird, so it prevents them from adding because these cards like to add because uh, they have that seven sword card where it's basically like their version of a Lord of Darkness, but they go more plus <laughs> because they need to go more plus. Elemental Dragons are really nasty to deal with. Uh, so Torrential Tribute, activating this right before the XYZ is the optimal time to uh, use Torrential Tribute, but occasionally sometimes they can just throw more cards again and just make it again. That's the only thing that's a downside to playing a card like Torrential Tribute. Bottomless is okay too, but the problem is even if you bottomless, when this card is banished, they get an effect, and it's pretty annoying to deal with. But um, another popular deck, I'd say these two two decks right now that I'm mentioning are the most popular decks. Be expected to play against them if you you know are looking to rank up. Uh, this is Spellbook Judgment Day, and it's really nasty. Basically, what they do is they activate this, they go through a whole bunch of spell cards, and then uh, during the end phase, they get to spell summon a Joseph of Prophecy. Their hand basically is set up to win next turn. So you basically you have one turn to do something, and if you do not win that turn, you basically end up losing because they're going to drop multiple High Priestess, and it doesn't really matter unless your back row is warning, they will activate um, the Spellbook of uh, Wisdom, and they will protect their cards. So uh, keep in mind, basically, if they activate this, there's not really much you can do other than summoning Thunder King. Thunder King destroys Spellbooks super, super, super hard, but you do have to get out first because they won't care if you get Thunder King. King after they have already got some to high priestess, but um, yeah, uh, spell books uh, are really popular right now. These two decks, are, I would say, are the most relevant. Like almost every game that I've been looking at, there's at least one player playing either elemental dragons or spell books or you know, mirror match. But uh, also other popular decks, uh, mermails are very popular right now. Uh, Macro rabbit still popular. Wind up still popular. Fire kings, fire fist, very popular. Um, Six Samurai still popular. Uh, Dark World, nothing got hit in that deck, so why not? Uh, Light Swarms, uh, that deck will always be popular. Chaos Dragons, all those variants. Uh, and then um, Evil Swarms right now, they're seeing a little bit more play because Evil Swarm destroys both of these decks. Only The only thing with the Elemental Dragons is they have Calderas as an option, the fire one. Uh, they can discard another fire monster plus uh, itself, I believe it is. Um, discard this card and one other fire monster to the graveyard to target one card in the field and you destroy it. So they will destroy Ophion. If you summon Ophion versus Spellbooks, they become sad because they basically rely on High Priestess. That's like their only monster that really ever does much <laughs> for them. Um, and if you summon Ophion, then they can't summon her, and then without her, they can't really do much. And then obviously, Elemental Dragons, they're all like, most of them are seven, I believe, so you can't really like do anything. Uh, the, the, all I can really hope is to have, to have the... Uh, the Blaster Elemental Dragon uh, Caldera to discard itself and pop Ophion, and then they just make Ophion next turn, hopefully. But uh, sometimes they'll just make Phantom Beastcraft and you can't really do much. But uh, Mind Crush is also a pretty good card because if Spellbooks, they, they go off that turn, um, and then it's your turn, and you can't beat them that turn. If you set a Mind Crush and their turn starts, you just go, oh, do you have a High Priestess in your hand? Oh, you can, you have two? Okay, no more High Priestess. They go to the grave. And then they'll probably will be activating a Spellbook Alive, so keep that in mind as well. Um, or you can activate it as soon as they reveal High Priestess. You can Mind Crush that. You can also Mind Crush cards like Wind Up Shark and uh, Vermel Abyss Mayloo because they do have to be revealed before they are special summoned. So I hope this helps you guys out battle against them in the meta right now. But yeah, most popular decks, Elemental Dragons. This, this deck is really nasty, and this deck is really nasty. So be prepared to play against both of these decks because both of these decks are very discouraging for, I know, players that are trying to jump into the game. These decks just obliterate you so fast, and you're like, I didn't even get to play. <laughs> and that's just kind of how uh, the format is looking, where it's going to be going, and that's unfortunate. But uh, I hope maybe they'll change the ruling on some of the Elemental Dragons, because at the moment, I think that they are way too versatile. They have too many effects, uh, and they're just way too fast for any deck. Any deck that can get out first turn Light and Darkness Dragon out consistently, and plus, like, draw a whole bunch of cards with that, um, that Super Rejuvenation Dragon card, it's just nasty. But anyways, hope this helps you guys out. If you guys have any suggestions of how to uh, side deck against some of these other cards, um, this, Mind Crush is good. Uh, this, um... Uh, Snowman Eater, Windups, uh, Maxi is good. Uh, this 
Against this, you can do Veilers. Veilers are pretty good because it stops Bear. And then against like Grunix, D Prison, Bottomless is good. Uh, against Six Samurais, Maxi is still good. Um, prevent them from getting out Sheehan, essentially, is pretty much what you need to do in this deck. But if they open up with Gateway, sometimes there's not much you can do. Uh, Dark World, D Prison, ba uh, and Bottomless, you want to banish the Graffa. Uh, against Chaos Dragons, Macrocosmos, pretty much. And then against. Uh, Ophion, uh, there's not really much suggestion. Just play heavy, heavy traps. You'll have to go two for one against them, which means you'll have to like deep prison and like mirror force like Ophion, and that will get rid of Ophion, uh, because they always add the infestation pandemic card, and that prevents them from one. So that's just how you have to do deal against that deck. But uh, yeah, hope this helps you guys battle some of the meta uh, that's currently seeing play on Yu-Gi-Oh at the moment. But anyways, thanks for watching. Have a great day. H and I signing out.